Hi guys, Nat Flicking here and welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing amazing because today I'm recording my first ever YouTube video. I've been playing Minecraft since 2012, but I only just discovered about four years ago that there is a huge platform on YouTube for Minecraft content. The first channel I ever stumbled upon was Python MC and I enjoyed his content so much that I binge watched all of his Minecraft series. And in a collaboration between Python and the mythical sausage, I became stuck on sausage too. I'll leave links for their channels down in the description below. Go check them out if you haven't already. So I've been wanting to make Minecraft content of my own for a few months now, but there was one big thing stopping me. And that is that I had never played Java Edition. That's right, I only got on Java in like December 2020. So if you see any noobish behaviors, I'm so sorry guys. I'm open to tips and suggestions. Please leave them down in the comments below if you have any. But without further ado, let me take you inside my workshop. Taking a look at the outside, you guys can see the walls I just made from warped wood and crimson wood, all the different variants. The rim of the roof is polished blackstone bricks, and the top of the roof is prismarine bricks. But let, let's go on inside Nat's workshop. Coming in, you see the exterior to a spiral staircase that just goes up to an aesthetic tower there's no function currently but i plan to be improving on this place as time goes on and i will definitely give you guys updates on the progress here we have some views out into the world we will be building that area up in a build series that we'll talk about in just a minute coming back down the tower and to the left is the only part of the workshop that is still under construction. And that is because that's our 1.17 survival let's play. On the other side of this wall, there's nothing to see but some shipping boxes. And uh, this is where we're gonna put the inspiration for our let's play when the time comes. Moving on, you have a utility corner. I don't think I need to explain why you would have a utility corner. But we also have a small private sleeping area. In here is very minimal because when we come to my workshop, I plan to be doing more working than sleeping. But you'll never know when we may have to pass a night or two. Here we have my jukebox with my favorite Minecraft disc. That is the pig step disc. Many of you guys know about that one, I'm sure. Out here, there is nothing to see but a serious need for some lawn maintenance. But I don't want to leave you guys wondering what's behind that door. So there it is. In here, we have the experiment corner. It's kind of not meant for the public eye. But I think if we do some stealth light creeping... Um, we can get a look in there. Here we are. You see the nether wart uh, for some experimental potion brewing. Up on top, we are attempting to cultivate a wither rose. Um, behind me is test subject B. Don't ask me what happened to test subject A. It was an accident. Let's just say it was pretty explosive and behind me on my right your guys' left we have an extraterrestrial version of a campfire um we're still performing tests but we do believe that we have the campfire properly contained the next and final part of my workshop i want to show you guys is the architect corner this is the inspiration for our first YouTube series, which is going to be a build series. 
um, we're building settlements to start, but not just any settlements. Um, I want to build settlements that maybe you've never seen before or that we don't see very often. So you can see here we have an organic settlement, which is going to be um, built within or alongside um, organics in our world, like naturally generated structures or things that we can grow in our world. The shipping container settlement is going to be interesting as in all of the structures have to be built out of 4x10 or 4x20 rectangles, which is proportionate to the size and shape of a shipping container. And since shipping container homes are a new fad these days, I, I look forward to seeing if we can perfect that type of settlement here in a Minecraft world. Then we have the RV and camper settlement. Uh, I have seen a lot of content creators make like an RV or a camper as like a starter home. I haven't seen a whole camper settlement and I'm sure they're out there, but I I'm going to take my whack at building this settlement before I go and look them up because I don't want to ruin the fun. Then we have our tiny house settlement. And this settlement is going to be special in that the interior of the largest structure will be no more than five by seven on the inside. And all the surrounding structures will be even smaller than that. So it's going to be fun to challenge ourselves in trying to make this sort of settlement as functional, but as aesthetically pleasing as possible. And then we have some blank spots and that's where you guys come in please in the comments down below leave some suggestions for me as to some unique weird interesting settlements or structures it doesn't have to be a settlement it is a broad build series in which we'll be building all sorts of things but these build settlements is just going to kick off this series and that series will be starting fairly immediately after this video. And with that, guys, it's pretty safe to say that you guys have seen my whole workshop. If you did enjoy this video and you want to come back and see our build series, or if you're excited for our 1.17 Let's Play, hit the subscribe button down below and ding that bell so you'll get notified for the first episode of all of our upcoming YouTube series. Well, the first episode and every episode after that, of course. And let me know in the comments below, how did you like this build? Is there anything I can do to improve on it? What would you guys put in that aesthetic tower that we really need functional? I certainly can't wait to hear from you guys and I certainly can't wait to get started on our build series and I am so looking forward to the start of our 1.17 survival series and that's just a few things that are to come on this channel. But with that I'm going to end off this uh, little introduction video and I really can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye!